glory, mercy, and honor be unto our God. I want you to just stay with me just but for a moment. When we see the coffins, it is something that we hardly ever want to imagine. But one day, we're going to die. People have lost their lives in so many ways. Some through no fault of their own. But death is the appointment of us all. People have lost their lives because of some evil law officials. An officer with a car, a gun, uniform, and a badge. Some are only legalized killers that the courts of our land have now stood by and they protect. But there are yet some good officers that are out there. Some that are yet loyal and dedicated to the cause in which they were called to do. They're both male and female who are yet seeking to protect our communities and our towns. But yet because of the evil of the evil ones that have just about overshadowed all of the good thing that the good officers are yet out there doing. But when you read 1 Timothy chapter 2, the Bible tells us that we ought to pray for men of authority. Pray for those even that have their rule over us, that we might live peacefully one with another down here upon this earth. Paul, he tells the church at Rome in Romans chapter 13 and verse 4, that even our law officials, that they are not a terror of good works. They're out there to protect us from all of the evil and all of the violence that occur in our world. He says that they hold not the sword of God in vain. That they are God's ministers to execute judgment upon the evil workers of others. Many have lost their life through some gang violence. And there is one thing about a gang leader. He always seemed to live in times of trouble. His life is hardly ever taken because he will send you out as a sacrifice. He will send you out to put your life there on the line for him or her. We need to be more cautious. We need to get out of the gangs and all away from all the violence. Rather than being sacrificed and families are left to grieve and to mourn because of some foolish decisions that you made in your own life a choice that you chose for some foolish reason, then there are times when bullets have come from a gun into the homes of people that were sleeping in their own bedrooms or wherever they were in the house. These things, they happen all the time. People are losing their life. Sometimes we stand around when fights are taking place on the outside and someone pull up a gun and the bullet that come out that is meant for someone else it takes your life. People, we need to get away from all of this violence. Get away from all of this foolishness that is going on in our world. We want to say to those of you that are listening now, we visit you right now in your own mind that you would find God, that you would search for him, that you would seek a place in your heart that God can live. Isaiah 55, 6-8, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he's near. Let the wicked man forsake his way, the unrighteous man his thought. Let him return unto the Lord, and to our God he will abundantly pardon. He will have mercy upon you. Visit with us at the Church of Christ when you can. And when you get there, for God's sake, please ask questions. You come by hearing the gospel of God, Romans 10, 17. You believe his word, Hebrews 11 and 6. Repent of your sin, Luke 13, 3 and 5. Confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is God's Son, Matthew 10, 32 and 33. You must be baptized in water to have your sins washed away, Acts 2, 38, Mark 16, 15, 16, John 19, 34. Continue to be faithful unto death until the Lord come, Revelations 2 and 10, John 8, 31 and 32. God bless you tonight, and may he keep us in his will. In Jesus' name we pray, and we ask it all. In Jesus' name, amen.
Pray for the families that are grieving in this world tonight. God bless you.